We wanted to be able to have this happy family like everybody else does. <laughs> My name is Arden Summers, and I am the daughter of Elisa and Trevor Summers. I was really hoping that my family would be back together and healthy and fixed. Elisa Summers, she is a loving mother of five children. It's a tragic family story, and they're breaking up and getting divorced. Trevor Summers wanted control. He controlled Elisa, and he controlled his children. We later learn through our investigation that Trevor Summers is using his children to play against his wife. He was trying to persuade her not to get divorced, and he was going to talk her into it no matter how long it took. She went through hell and back all because of what my dad did. When Trevor Summers enters the home and Elisa Summers ultimately wakes up, that's when the violence occurs. I am here with Elisa at her house. Uh, or I'm not supposed to be. And I woke Elisa up, and I have been holding her against her will. He used her cell phone to record a video making a statement about what occurred. I did tie her up uh, to keep her uh, from contacting the authorities and give me enough time to get out of town. Eventually, he takes her out of the house, correct? Elisa agrees to go with him because she knew that was the only way she was going to be able to stay alive at that point. He goes to the Walgreens. She's in the car. And there is an employee at the Walgreens taking a smoke break. We received a 911 call from a witness at the Walgreens where Ms. Summers attempted to flee from the vehicle. Some chick just ran out of the dude's car. Looked like her hands were tied and she ran out of the car to scream and help me. And he just uh, grabbed her and put her back in the car. So this is a potential kidnapping, but could be headed towards something far more serious, a potential homicide. That's certainly a possibility and something that's in the back of our heads. The 911 call occurs approximately 9 p.m. on Saturday. Then the following morning, myself and another detective are able to interview four of the five children. There was just a knock on the door, and just two tall men and asked, do you know where your parents are? And I said no. They were talking about how they're doing this investigation and try to find my parents, and all I'm thinking is, oh my god, what happened? The interview with the children was a very delicate situation. And, and he was hurting Mom. Well, how do you know he was hurting Mom? I heard it. She was screaming. Did he tie her arms up or her feet or, or something else? He tied um, both of her arms and body. When the children are giving these details, it's just surreal. It was shocking. 